So Polaris is right around the corner and Vega is meant to unveil itself later this year and we already have a few performance estimates from AMD themselves for both architectures. So why don't we do some theoretical calculations. What's up guys, it is Ozzy from Oz Talks Harder with another speculation-esque type video. I actually really enjoy making these types of videos because I like to see how close or how terribly off I am when the product I speculate actually releases. Now just like with my AMD Zen video, there are a few disclaimers. The very first one being that this is a theory. That basically means that I'm not stating this as truth, as fact. I am just using what I already know about the architectures and trying to come up with some kind of estimate for both of them. With that being said, I also feel obligated to state that I am no type of GPU engineer whatsoever. I do know a little bit about the complexities behind Pascal, Vega, and Polaris, but I'm just a black man in my room making videos. I have no complete idea of the little nitty gritty details behind each of the architectures. Now that doesn't mean that I didn't use math or unconfirmed claims from AMD because I did use both of those, but I also had to add a little bit of assumption into the mix, like with any kind of theory. So with those two disclaimers out of the way, let us get started with the theory theoretical performance of Polaris and Vega. So as many of you know, the 380X has a TDP of 190 watts and the 480X is assumed to be 130 watts. Now AMD claims 2.5 times performance per watt, but that's probably best case scenario and silicon does not scale linearly either. So let's assume 2.25. Now, according to FutureMark, the 380X has a 3D Mark Firestrike score of 13,300-ish. And I say ish because this is the average of all the 380Xs recorded on the site. So this score can vary a little bit. Assuming the 480X has a TDP of 190 watts, its score would be 30,060 using the 2.25 scaler, but its supposed TDP is 130 watts. Now let's divide the 190 watt TDP of the 380X by the 130 watt TDP of the 480X. So right when we divide that, we get 1.462. After that, we divide that 30,060 score from the 480X by the 1.462 scalar to get the assumed performance. After you do that, you get roughly 20,560. Just to give you guys an idea of where that stands, that's almost 3,000 points ahead of a reference 980 and a little less than 2,000 above the 390X. So what I decided to do is do this kind of calculation for the 470 through the 490X, just to give you guys an idea of where the performance is for these lay. Now, of course, we're not really sure which one is Polaris and which one is Vega because that has yet to be confirmed, but the 2.5 times performance per watt will stay the same throughout. But in this case, it's 2.25 because of course, you can't trust marketing. So after doing it for the 470 through the 490X, this is what I got. And this is the final list with current GPUs and the GTX 1080 added in there. As you can see, the jump from 28 nanometer to 14 nanometer really shows a hefty increase in performance. Now there are a few discrepancies in there such as the 470 performance similarly to the 270 and the 370. Now I don't think that this will happen when Polaris 11 releases, but this is probably due to the fact that maybe I got the assumed uh, TDP incorrect or maybe that my calculations and scalar factors just won't work with that low of a card. But regardless of whether I'm right or wrong, I can say with confidence that this year is gonna be awesome for the video card market because there will be competition. And of course, I am just as excited for Polaris as I am for the GTX 1070 and Pascal releasing. I just really need to upgrade from my 7950 because it's starting to show its age a tiny bit. Of course, if you guys like the video, give it a like and definitely discuss down in the comments below. I wanna see what you guys think theory is and how it compares to mine. If you guys loved it, subscribe. And if you want to share, definitely go ahead and share it. I have a few videos in the works right now and they're pretty awesome. At least I think they are. And I should be able to upload those soon. Of course, this is summer break for me and I will have a lot more time to make content. So expect more consistent and more content being uploaded weekly. Uh, I'm Ozzy and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.